Good morning and welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. This is morning prayer for Saturday, September the 19th. It's the 16th week after Pentecost and week 4 in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 75 and Psalm 76. And 2 Kings chapter 2 verse 1 through 18. And please join me in singing the first verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Nobis. Come, let us sing unto our God, the rock of our salvation. Praise and thanks we bring before our songs of joy we sing you. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, to you, O God, we give thanks. We call on your name. Alleluia. Psalms 75 and 76, and please recite them with me. Alleluia, to you, O God, we give thanks. We call on your name, and we declare your wondrous works. You say, at the appointed time, I will judge uprightly. Though the earth and all its inhabitants are dissolved, it is I who bear its pillars. I said to the fools, do not boast, and to the wicked, lift not your horn. Lift not your strength on high. Do not speak with a proud neck. For judgment comes not from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. God humbles one and raises another. For in your hand is a cup full of wine, foaming with mixture. You pour it out, and they drink it to the dregs. All the wicked of the earth shall drink it. And as for me, I rejoice forever. I sing praises to the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. All the horns of the wicked will be cut off, but the righteous shall be strengthened and exalted. Alleluia! In Judah you are known, O God. Your name is great in Israel. Your tent is in Jerusalem. You make your dwelling place in Zion. It was there that you broke the arrows of the bow, the shield and the sword and the battle. You are more glorious and excellent than the everlasting mountains. The stout-hearted are spoiled. They have slept their sleep, and none of the mighty can lift their head, hands. At your rebuke, O God of Jacob, both the chariot and the horse lie stunned. You are to be feared. Who may stand in your sight when you are angry? You cause judgment to be heard from heaven. The earth feared and was still when you rose to judgment to save the humble of the earth. Surely angry Edom shall praise you, and the remnant of Hamath will rejoice in you, and make your vows to God and pay them to the Most High. Let all pay tribute to God, who is worthy of our respect. God breaks the spirit of rulers and strikes terror in the leaders of the earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia to you, O God, we give thanks. We call on your name. Alleluia. A lesson from the second book of Kings, chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. Now when Yahweh was about to take Elijah up to heaven by a whirlwind, Elijah and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. And Elijah said to Elisha, Stay here, for Yahweh has sent me as far as Bethel. But Elisha said, As Yahweh lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. And so they went down to Bethel, the company of prophets, who were in Bethel, came out to Elisha and said to him, Do you know that today the Most High will take your master away from you? And he said, Yes, I know. Keep silent. And Elijah said to him, Elisha, stay here, for Yahweh has sent me to Jericho. 
But he said, As Yahweh lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. And so they came to Jericho. The company of the prophets who were at Jericho drew near to Elisha and they said to him, Do you know that today the Most High will take your master away from you? And he answered, Yes, I know. Be silent. And then Elijah said to him, Stay here, for the Most High has sent me to the Jordan. But he said, As Yahweh lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. And so the two of them went on. Fifty men of the company of prophets also went and stood at some distance from them, as they both were standing by the Jordan. And then Elijah took his mantle and rolled it up and struck the water. And the water was parted to one side and to the other, until the two of them crossed on dry ground. And when they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, Tell me what I may do for you before I am taken from you. And Elisha said, Please let me inherit a double share of your spirit. And he responded, You have asked for a hard thing. Yet if you see me as I am being taken away from you, it will be granted. If not, it will not be granted. As they continued walking and talking, a chariot of fire and horses of fire separated the two of them, and Elijah ascended in a whirlwind into heaven. Elisha kept watching and crying out, Father, Father, the chariots of Israel and its horsemen. But when he could no longer see him, he grasped his own clothes and tore them into pieces. He picked up the mantle of Elijah that had fallen from him and went back and stood on the bank of the Jordan. And he took the mantle of Elijah that had fallen from him and struck the water, saying, Where is Yahweh, the God of Elijah? When he had struck the water, the water was parted to the one side and to the other, and Elisha went over. And when the company of prophets who were at Jericho saw him at a distance, they declared, The spirit of Elijah rests on Elisha. And they came to meet him and bowed to the ground before him. And they said to him, See, now we have fifty strong men among your servants. Please let them go and seek your master. It may be that the spirit of Yahweh has caught him up and thrown him down on some mountain or into some valley. And he responded, No, do not send them. But when they urged him until he was ashamed, he said, Send them. So they sent fifty men who searched for three days but did not find Elijah. And when they came back to him, he had remained at Jericho. And he said to them, Did I not say to you, Do not go? Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world, and please respond, hear us, tender God. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people, we pray, hear us, tender God. For Don and Tom and Richard and Joe and Bill and for all of our church leaders and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the poor, the hungry and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Barack and Joe and John, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, we pray. Hear us, tender God that God who has begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. We pray, hear us, tender God, together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, 
holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O precious God, you are our defender and savior, and your name is great in all the world. Raise us up to sing your praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs> 